Hey, what's going on, Guardians? My name is The Black Link, and it is Friday, March 22nd, 2019. Another Zursday has come around, and you know what that means. It's actually exciting here in the world of Destiny now, because not only do we have the Agent of the Nine and the Inventory of Exotics will be going over, but we also have the next step into the Invitations of the Nine. Now this week, Zer will be located in the Winding Cove, so just roll it up there, head off into the EDZ, load it up, and when you do, Zer will be located in the cave in the back. So, once you've loaded in, follow the path that we're taking here. There'll be a cave up in the back of the area. You just jump on into it, head up to the very top of the cliff, and Zer should be waiting right at the end. There we are, big guy. Let's see what you brought this time around. All right, some good looking stuff this week. First things first, of course, we've got the faded Isochronal Engram. This is the Engram that is supposed to help you complete your collections for year one exotics. So if you're still missing stuff from Destiny 2 year one, pay 97 legendary shards, you get this. Hopefully you'll get one of the exotics that you're still missing. All right, moving on to the basic items he's got for sale. The weapon this week is the Huckleberry. Very, very fun exotic SMG. This comes with the ability Ride the Bull, increased rate of fire and recoil while you're holding down the trigger. Kills with this weapon reload a portion of the magazine. This is a very good ability. That increased rate of fire helps you take down targets even faster. When you masterwork it, you start getting ammo back on kill, so you can just sit there and hold the trigger as you're mowing down entire waves of enemies. It is a fantastic exotic weapon. It's also got Rampage on there for damage stacking. Great stuff overall. Masterwork is pretty easy. I think you just have to go and get kills with it. Super good. All right, for the Titans this week, we've got the Mask of the Quiet One. This comes with the ability Dreaded Visage. Grants ability energy when you're damaged. When critically wounded, you regain maximum health on kills. Yeah, this is kind of an interesting exotic. It saw its time in the sun back in uh, year one, I want to say. Getting that ability energy whenever you're damaged is definitely, definitely beneficial in games like Gambit, as well as anything in PvE. And, you know, when you're critically wounded, you regain maximum health on kills. It's basically like getting a free devourer, uh, like what the, the Voidwalker Warlocks have, except, you know, when you're taking critical damage. Not bad at all. This week's roll also has sniper rifle as well as machine gun reserves, so if you like snipers and machine guns, definitely a good pickup there. Moving on, for the hunters, we've got the Gemini Jester Exotic Hunter Boots. These come with the ability Misdirection, dodging disorients nearby enemies and temporarily removes their radar. Not a bad ability, you have to be fairly close to enemies in order to disorient them. Um, I, I would say this is worth picking up just to complete your collection. There are better hunter exotics out there right now, like it's going to be a hard sell being a hunter and, you know, not using the Gwyson Vest if you're, a, uh, if you're a Spectral Blades user, or the Ophidian Aspects if you're on Night Stalker. There's just not much reason to use anything else. But still, I'd recommend picking these up just in case you haven't got them. Finally, for Warlocks, we have the Forsaken Exotic Gauntlets, the Controverse Hold. These are actually really good for the Nova Warp class. These come with the ability Chaotic Exchanger. Resist incoming damage while charging your Void Grenade with Chaos Accelerant, Feed the Void, or Handheld Supernova. Charged Void Grenades return a random amount of grenade energy on a hit. Yeah, sometimes these things just basically give you your full grenade back. Charging that grenade is going to be, of course, that's what you do when you're a Nova Warp scum in PvP. You're getting your one-shot grenade off, and every now and again, when you get that full grenade charge back, it's just so crispy being able to have two one-shot grenades, or possibly even three if you get lucky. Definitely a worthwhile purchase for you warlocks out there if you haven't gotten them already. All of that armor can be purchased for 23 legendary shards. Make sure you pick it up if you haven't gotten them. All right, after that, of course, we've got the Nightfall Challenge card. I've explained that enough times in these videos. Pick it up so you can change modifiers and strikes. And then we have the next bit of the Zer Bounties, the Invitations of the Nine. These are lore quests that are going to drop powerful gear for you. Last week's lore quest was called The World. This one is titled Justice. And here's the objectives. Collect metaphysical samples from defeated combatants on Titan. Complete the strike, Savathun's Song. So you'll need to complete that strike, collect 9 Fallen Samples, and 9 Hive Samples. You'll be able to pick this up for 9 Legendary Shards, and then you can go off, do that quest, 
And then after learning a bit more about the Emissary of the Nine and some other stuff going on in the world, you should get a powerful reward for completing this. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth your time, Guardians. Make sure you pick this up. And of course, we'll show you the rest of that process here in this video. But that's pretty much it for Xur's inventory this week. Some interesting stuff in there. Definitely, I'd say the armor of the week is definitely the Controverse Hold. If you're a Warlock, go grab those things ASAP. Now, let's move on to the Invitations of the Nine for this week. Now, for the most part, this is going to be just as easy to complete as last week's was. A lot of the kills that you need will probably be finished by just running the Savathun Song Strike. But of course, you can go and run a public event on Titan. That should get you either all the Fallen kills you need if it's the Fallen Walker or all the Hive kills that you need. So I would definitely recommend just going ahead and running the strike because you're probably going to get everything you need right out of there. If not, again, you can just run some of the public events that are available on Titan, and if you're having a particularly hard time with, say, the Fallen samples, what I would recommend is maybe going and starting one of the adventures. That'll put you into a private instance, so if you have a lot of people stealing your Fallen kills, you won't have to worry about that. It'll put you in your own private world space, and you can farm up those samples really quickly. But anyways, once you've got these steps done, you will need to head back to the Derelict. So you can jump through the portal, head to the Realm of the Nine, and just get a little of a sneak peek at the backstory of the Emissary. There's no big cutscene this time around, so there really isn't too much to spoil. And then, congratulations, you'll have gotten another powerful drop for the week. But alright Guardians, that is pretty much it for this week's Zursday and Invitation of the Nine video. We do have nine weeks of these lore drops happening. So we're going to have at least seven more of these to come before the Season of Opulence. If you enjoyed or found it helpful, Feel free to drop a like, make sure you subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. But I'm out for now. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.